today i and my team members are going to present about the topic e payment mechanism so what are the payment through card system e check e payment threats and protection so here are the team members shomu pande as me sobhik banerji vishal chetri sandeep pandattu next slide please so basically what is e payment mechanism as we know that e payments means entitle the transfer of funds through electronic or digital mediums as we know that it is a way of paying online so e commerce payment system facilitates the acceptance of electronic payment for offline transfer as known as the sub component of electronic data interchange e commerce payment system have become increasingly popular due to widespread use of internet based shopping and banking so normally e payment is done via debit cards credit cards bank payment as well as mobile wallet as we know that google pay as well as phone pay is there so but there are also other alternative payments methods such as e wallets and cryptocurrencies so if we if you uh, look to move your business online and create an online store then these are the mechanism next slide so how e payment works e payment works firstly the merchant is there then after that customer or the cash holder then the issuing bank then the acquirer the payment process then after that finally it will go to the payment gateway so what are the e payment issues in e payments are application e wallet qr code credit card digital money online banking nfc blockchain so next slide so there are common methods of e payments as mentioned about there are number of ways to carry out an electronic payment here are some of the common methods the first one is the credit or debit cards so when pay paying by the card an electronic payment device initiates the online payment transfer the consumer will have to fill out their credit card details in the particular website then secondly it comes internet banking that is this is done by the digitally transferring funds over the internet from one bank account to another bank account as it is a online mode of fund transfer so third one is that uh, digital uh, sorry uh, uh, direct direct debit that is direct debit transaction transfer funds from a customer's account with the help of a third party app then comes the e wallet that is google pay or phone pay that we are uh, using in our smartphones so e wallet is form of an prepaid account where the customer's account information is stored electronically then lastly it comes the store credit card a store credit card is a card that has a prepaid monetary value a more common name for this type of payment is gift card next slide so how do electronic payment system works as i earlier told first one um, one time vendor payments and the second one is that recurring customer vendor payments so there are commonly used e-commerce websites such as shopify amazon as well as flipkart are there so a card holder will uh, type the card or the banking information uh, in the stage of payment and this information will then be approved by their bank if the information is correct and they will tra uh, transfer the fund into the merchant's account so second one is that recurring customer vendor payments so this payment are used when the card holder is paying for goods or service on the regular basis so instead of entering your details each time uh, we can enter them once and opt in for the recurring billion option the next slide will be uh discussed by my fellow team members thank you sir uh, so now i am describe electronic payment system uh, so now basically in india's the network e payments digitalization merchants as well as customers are getting comfortable adopting new digital technologies uh, so with customers are getting comfortable with online shopping uh, nowadays an e-commerce site and online payment is must to for any business an e payment or electronic payment systems uh, allows customer to pay the service via electronic methods they are also known as online uh, payment system normally e payment is done 
via a credit card or debit cards. Uh, so nowadays, uh, EPS or uh, electronic payment system have become popular and uh, account of the following reasons. First one is decreasing technology cost. Second one is reduced operation and processing cost. Third one is increasing online transaction. And fourth one is lower transaction fee or cost for e-payments. Fifth one is variety of e-payment options are available to the customers. Next, the seller is able to receive payment from any part of the world within a few minutes. And the last one is e-payment is convenient for both to the merchant and customer. Now I'm discussing the advantage and disadvantage of e-payment system. So first we uh, describe advantage. Last one is increased speed. Uh, we do not uh, uh, to worry about carrying uh, paper and money or wait in line withdraw many of ATMs through e-payment. You can pay anyone at any time. Second one is, uh, one is increased sales. As people are able to pay to anyone and are not much dependent, uh, the demands of product in the market have increased. Uh, which uh, result to increase in case of almost every product. A third one is instant receipt. As soon as you make an online payment, you receive receipt and feedback almost instantly. And fourth one is better deals. Uh, so, as people are getting more uh, in e-payments, almost every payment service provider started offers helping people get good deals. Now, we discuss disadvantage of e-payment system. First one is service fees. Uh, many times while using e-payment service, we are liable to pay service fees uh, which adds to our expense. Second one is technical problem. As it is an online service, it may go down due to technical issue and people who get 100% rel reliable on this service for their payment may face an issue. And last one is remote areas. Remote areas still really on case. You might uh, find it difficult in making payments on the go while traveling to some remote areas. Next slide described by the rest of the community. Thank you, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, I am Vishal Shetri. Uh, my slide is uh, electronic cash payment system. So here is the um, uh, first one is uh, e-cash is uh, e-cash or digital cash method uh, allows uh, buyers to, uh, to pay for goods or services online by transmitting over the internet a unique electronic number or other uh, identifier that carries a specific values. So the user can First, you must have a, an eCash software program and eCash bank account from which eCash can be withdrawn or deposited. So, the mm, user uh, withdraws the uh, cash from uh, the account to his computer and spend it in, 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 into the internet. Theoretically, eCash can be uh, spent in very small uh, increments such as 10 rupees, 20 rupees, and 50 rupees. It is. Next slide. So, here is the electronic cash payment process flowchart. So here, here we can see the diagram. So first one, the customer go to the bank to uh, and ask for the coins, and then uh, bank uh, give the customer the coins, and then customer go to the merchant merchant uh, merchant account uh, like Flipkart, Amazon, it etc. Then the uh, customer can buy anything uh, product any product or service with the coin. Then the merchant account go to the bank deposit the coin and bank give the merchant owner as a cash Next slide. so here the electronic cash payment system uh, advantages and dis uh, disadvantages like limitation of e cash so advantages is lower the transaction cost second one is convention convenient uh, authorization not required third one is suitable for small payments like so there is a limitation. First one is high financial risk as e cash may be stolen by the hackers. And second one is the vendors should have account in the same bank which issued the cash. Next slide we present by Sandeep. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Vishal. Good evening, sir. My name is Sandeep Andatta. So I am here to talk about electronic check payment system. So basically, we have to know what is electronic check payment system. So electronic check payment system is a digital version of paper check also known as an electronic check, online check, internet check and direct debit. Electronic check system use the automated clearing house to direct debit from customers checking account into a merchant's business bank account with the help of payment processor. Electronic check systems are transmitted electronically making transaction quicker, safer and easier. Next slide. So 
so this is this is electronic check system, system how processing work so in order to accept electronic check payment a business must first obtain the customer's information including their bank routing routing and checking account numbers the in, this information can be obtained online by phone or in person via a proper paper form most businesses today have websites and can provide a secure form page for this customer information using this information the merchant banks can communicate directly with the customer's bank once the funds are verified the direct debit happens in via ach a lot of money is passed through ach or anonymously to illustrate the volume consider that in q q1 2019 ach network volume grew 5.8% over q1 2018 so next slide so sir this these are the references and this is our project thank you sir very good presentation thank you